going to go and explore because we've had a bit of camp down time. A couple of hours where we're not doing any jobs, so we're going to have a little walk up here and see if there's anything interesting. Even though the midges are gone now, yeah, it's been tick city, hasn't it? How many, how many have you had now, Seb? Do you uh, think? Maybe two. Yeah, I'll probably add what four, five. I'll show you these giant horses' hooves as well. They're massive, aren't they? They're much bigger than the ones you get in England. Yeah. On the way up here, we was in the taxi, and the taxi driver was telling us about big cat sightings around here. And looking at the other side of the bank, there's a big, large animal that's black. But so reckons it's a dog. It's just been a dull and cloudy day really today, hasn't it? Whereas yesterday it was beautiful sunshine. Quite a nice short the shoreline to walk around though, isn't it? That tree's curved in horses' hooves. There we go. feet wet a bit here. Just mainly birch and pine along here. Um, pathway just up here I think. Well, we might be able to get around. There's loads and loads of hammocking spots and camping spots around here. Feathers off of it. Feathers off of an animal, isn't it? Yeah. I like to explore. You don't know quite what you're going to find. Uh, kind of um. Let's just turn this around. I think we're coming to the edge of the lock now. Lots and lots of heather. Gives another rustler. How are you? Into shot. There we go. I think they're geese, aren't they? Put this up and you'll zoom so we can see it. I think that's about as far as it goes for the pathway. You want to head back? Unless you want to head up? No, I'm good to head back. Mm. The wind. Then we'll head back to camp basically. Got a little while before it gets dark and we decide whether to do a project or just chill out. I don't think we've quite decided yet. There's loads of dead wood around for firewood. That's not much of a challenge really. There's some parts of Scotland you can really struggle to find dead wood. And know what woods you're in. This is horse, horse's hoof. Found some weird, weird ones which are really pale or near white and some lovely chaga as well drank the chaga and found it delicious said wasn't so king but, oh the bracket fungi to drink that seems to be the tastiest I see why it's popular and I will be bringing some back with me then tomorrow's plan is to strike camp at a decent time then head on to Loch Morlick and see what that has to offer. A decent walk, so I'm looking forward to that. Nearly back at camp. Got geese comet coming over constantly. Now we're back at camp. Time to turn you off and do a job. Take it off. The amadou is coming off. 
be interesting to see what it looks like in this world. It's not the prettiest of things, is it? Oh, like I said, it looks like a big liver. Yeah. Shame it isn't. Well, that's it. Need to dry it now. Maybe on a stone next to the fire. Yeah. Just put it there and once the stone will warm up. Oh, I so wish that was liver. <laughs> so see. It's a sludgy sound, doesn't it? I need a um, batter rock somewhere, I'm going to have to take it over, over yeah, there. Yeah, fair enough. busy on this project. It's amazing how bigger it's getting. It's just compacting down, isn't it? I mean, do you reckon that's... that's Looking good. Basically what we're doing is making amadou. So that's the tremor layer out of the horse's hoof. It's been boiling for hours. And now we're bashing it down to a final layer. And probably what we'll do is probably boil it up a little bit more and add a load of ash to the pot. Load of ash? Yeah. What will that do? That'll, um, that'll make it a bit more combustible basically. Okay. Cool looking thing though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, people make hats and bits of clothing out of it as well. Yeah. There we go at an experiment. I'm going to see if I can char some horse's hoof by baking it in the ashes without destroying it completely. That's a horse's hoof lamp. Just put it in there like that. Then Hopefully with all the ash, it won't disintegrate it. Now we'll have some tinder ready. Just need to give it some time and get the fire over it and we'll see in a little while. There otherwise. Problem is it can kind of spontaneously combust, can not you? Take it out. Looks about right. Nope. See how it's caught then. See, as soon as you expose oh, yeah, it to yeah. where it just goes, doesn't it? So what? Just cover it back up for a sec. I'll cover it over and uh, let it cool down, basically. I'll, I'll leave the ash on top of it but not put any more rock on it and that should should stop it from combusting there we go that should be enough so this was the original horse's hoof here we've taken a slice off of it we put it into the ash covered it over with ash and just let it sit there for a while which has charred it when the ash is over the top it keeps the oxygen out so it doesn't spontaneously combust and then we've cooled down the ashes and then removed it and we'll see if it, it can take a spark. I think it's still a little bit brown in there so it's not charred all the way through by any means but we'll see if it's a viable source. Oh, I'll put it this way. Yep, you got that. So it goes to show you, you don't need a tinder tin to produce charred items. And I suspect this technique has probably been used for a long, long time. You can see it's just smouldering away there. We could then take this to a tinder bundle. Do you think you could light flame. your tinder with that yep. and then also save the fungus, put it out and keep it for another day? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, mm. look look how much is here. You know, you could if literally you, yeah. just extinguish the tip there and then um, yeah, and save it for another day. I mean, in theory, you could drill a hole in it, tie it on a bit of nettle cordage or something like that and keep it on a belt or put it in a pouch and reuse it. 
I mean this this will smoulder by itself now. We could leave it for quite a long time and you know you, you could go off walking for a while and take this with you and you know if your fire's not here. The plan is that when you've got one fire to plan for your next fire as well. So while you're on the go and you've got your current fire just pop this in there and then you know you're good for your next fire. You don't have to do a flint and steel with it or ferro rod. You could literally use this as a pan for a bow drill or a hand drill and then drop your dust on there, create the ember and the ember would be instantly transferred to this giving you a much much longer time to blow it to flame so increasing your chances of success as well. See how it's just working its way through and getting bigger and bigger? Yeah yeah it's brilliant. Just from a couple of sparks. Looks cool too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's cooler than charcoal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if you can do this, it kind of makes charcoal irrelevant, doesn't it? Because charcoal, you drop a little spark, and within a few seconds, it's largely gone. Where this this will hold a lot longer, won't mm. it? You just effectively made a cramp ball. Yeah, 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 basically. It's already dry. But the good thing is, I mean, you can shape them to what you want. So. You know, you, you can do nice slices like this, or you can you can even use the whole lot. I mean, in theory, you could you could bury that in the ground and um, char the whole lot of it. Yeah, yeah. Which we might want to do for Actually, I've, fun. I've done that. I've what done the whole that. lot? Yeah, yeah. I've still got it lying around. Yeah, yeah. Put the whole lot in there and just char the whole lot, and then you know you could put that on a hoop and walk around. But see, it's got no intention of going out, has it? 25 minute burn. Still going strong in 25 minutes. Here for you. Yeah, let it simmer for a while and then put it in. So we've got about an hour's burn out of the uh, slice of horse's hoof but what we found is that it was lent up against another bit of horse's hoof and that's caught now as well. It's been smouldering for a while and that's amazing but it's not even dried so what I think it has has been leaning against it, dried it out, charred it out then caught it and the whole thing's working its way through now. That's amazing. Yeah. They look like shrimp to me though. Shrimp on shrimp. Yeah. Better explain. People are going to be like, what the hell? Well, we're fish for shrimp. We've managed sort to get some well, out. Fishing's a strong term. And they're in the pot. Just cooking. They're now yeah. turning pink. They are turning pink. Shrimp are all cooked and Seb's ready for a taste. Get in there, Seb. You can't reach that one, get a different one. That's not bad. Any taste? No taste? Any crunch? Crunch, nothing else. Yeah, I think we need quite a bit of them. Nothing. Maybe we can think of a, a way to fish for some more. Quite a hard crunch. We you do have a really hard crunch. You might just be eating grit. Mm. <coughs> yeah, I think mine was a bit grittier than I hoped. Let me try.
That's better. I can taste anything. Can you taste anything? No, no. They're so small though, aren't they? If they're small ones, there's big ones. Mm. Well, I think we're potentially we've got good food here. Let's see if we can figure out how to fish for them properly. A tasting menu. Yeah. We've dried out the amadou and we're about now ready to try it and see how it goes. Seb's just scraping up some. Then they come around here and get a nice shot of that. There we go. It's just fluffing it up. I can't see very well. There we go. Just fluffing it up basically and getting a One spark. There we go, it's up. Works very well. Well done. That'll literally burn all through that now, won't it? Zoom in now and get close up a bit. There we go. Just one spark from a ferro rod. That's Amadou. Alright, we're just about packed up. We're heading off to Loch Morlick in a sec. Camp's all packed away. We'll have a quick look down by the lock to see if we're all tidied up and we've got everything. Just bring you around there. Then once we've made sure that everything's tidy and put away, we'll have a quick tech, uh, check of ticks, because we've had lots of ticks this trip, it's still about, and then we'll head off and get hiking. So, let's just have a look around, make sure we've got everything, and more importantly, we've left no trace. So, this is where we've been for the last couple of days. That was where the fire was, all gone, all returned back to where it should be. And everything else put away and gone. Brilliant. Last look at the lock before we move off. And let's head off. <laughs> 